do voluntary work in Dublin, you've been a journalist for RTE, and you've witnessed some of the tragedies that are happening to everyday folk who suddenly find society has changed around them rather rapidly. And you've also been writing for a local newspaper. Yes. And what are the focus of your stories generally for the newspaper? Up to 10 years. I've been writing for, for the Newry Democrats since 2010, I think, maybe before that. Uh, but initially I was quite angry, quite pugilistic. But the nature of my writing has changed over the years. It's now a great deal more gentle. And that gentleness uh, probably could be exemplified in uh, a recent piece of writing in the paper. And if, if, if you like, I, I can give you an indication of it, but it's more positive. It's more spiritual, but not religious. I'm going to need glasses these days as I grow <laughs> older. And I will put on the glasses and see where we're going with it. This is a story I wrote. This is a piece I wrote several years ago, but I didn't. It, it's self-explanatory. Let me do this. The loss of a child gone home to God too soon is the very greatest of tests. Many would say a challenge too far. Alfie Evans, the baby who died just short of two years of age, he was let go as the joy of Maytime beckoned. The Japanese write about a transient beauty. They hold close the festival of Hanami, the celebration of the cherry blossom, beautiful, fragile, the magic of the briefest of visitations from the very deepest heart of an unexplained universe. But the plan, the roadmap of passing time, allows it all to happen. The blossoms come and the blossoms go. What man can speak to me of the mystery of creation? From nothingness through to the fullness of springtime and new life unfolding. It is, I suggest, in the mind, in the heart, and in the hands of God. What follows I wrote more than ten years ago, and the words have remained hidden in a kind of literary perda ever since. The events written about cutting too deeply into the hearts and minds of those left behind. But now, for some reason, Alfie in there in the mix, I believe the time is right to bring it to you. And this is the poem, written over ten years ago. For those left behind, a poem. Dear child, what happened at the moment of your passing, moving on to the next port on the endless journey of love, here and among the stars where you have gone, what happened when uh, we had no say, when our best in all the world couldn't keep you beyond your stay, your allotted span, time given, time spent, we of course will follow on the morrow of some new day yet to dawn. Go well, our darling child, Voyager of our hearts, no place this world for you. Called, you responded, there was no choice. The beckoning hand, the smile, and the warm embrace of God. The voice of loving ways, now all yours. And in another time, another place, I remember, that morning in the first hour, after the whispering light of dawn, stillness, whispering breeze, cat's paw breath, and the spider's silvery spinning, a web finer than any thread that man has made, nature's harp strings quivering in the pristine light of the growing day, blue sky, sunshine, warming, driving cold night away. I see the world through the crystal ball that is nature's tear, shimmering, dewdrop hanging on the web, a tear in the half-world, between brown earth and ripening sky, a weeping of remembering. But why? Didn't our child have to die? Didn't he have to die? To be home again with God? But now I see a child at play. I hear the laugh and see the smile. Take time. Tarry. Stay a while. Allow the story to unfold. And remembering how it used to be. Joyful. Look and see. She picks the golden apples from the jewelled tree. Now laughter fills the orchard bower. Smiling face and flowing hair. And there's the God who set her free. Look, take time. Allow yourself to see. God and child at play. 
talking quietly beneath the ruby cherry tree. These are heaven's things, God says. The fragrant petals, the silver on the morning spider's web, the sun at the new day's dawn, now long since gone. Look, don't rush away. There's much, much more. Fishes finning, lazy in the stream, dappled in the sun summer days, all on the palate of the Father's ways. But quickly, don't you see? God is with our baby still. He speaks again. What does he say? My dearest child, laugh and dance and skip, play, sing, touch birds, creatures, big and small. Heaven's hedgerow, flowers, my father's made it all for you. But still, I had to mind the love and the heartbreak of those you've left behind. So I took you home when the time was right, when I had to. And you could stay no more. But now you've come. You're welcome. You've danced and skipped and laughed your way through heaven's open door. Happiness is yours, my child. I, I find religion to be a deeply flawed cocoon, a cocoon to give comfort to people, but it's deeply flawed, acknowledged as so being by some of the greatest priests around. Like, I, I don't mind saying this, we had a, a situation in Newry la, over the last two years where there was a huge screen in the middle of Hill Street. The cathedral parish of Newry launched a campaign against that screen from the pulpit, which led me to ask, has there been a campaign for the pulp from the pulpit ever against abortion? No. They could have a campaign against a, the, inanimate, the inanimate presence of a screen, but no campaign from the pulpit on abortion. And that shocked, that, uh, it shocked me, and I was horrified by it. And when then later the, the, the terribleness of child sex abuse within the Catholic Church came out, especially here in our own town in Uri, I made it my business to make sure that people like Bishop John Michael knew he had my support and I supported him in my column. When The Church of Ireland minister, Kingsley Sutton, was driven out by his congregation, was forced into resignation by his congregation because he had had the temerity of, foolishly I think, but he didn't know, he made a mistake, of removing the military memorabilia from St. Patrick's Church in Newry. His recanting and his apology wasn't accepted by the Christians in that church and he was driven out. So I see religion as being deeply, deeply flawed. They're like those who run the club, the board of directors of each religion, it's almost like rats in a bag, turning on each other and not, not bearing in mind and not focusing on that fundamental message of the God of love, Jesus the God of love, to love one another. That doesn't happen. So religion, not interested in it, don't want it, can't be bothered with it, love some of the things that occur from the pulpits. Uh, you know, there are great priests and ministers. I mentioned Jack Watson already, the Presbyterian. I've mentioned Kingsley Sutton, the, uh, the Church of Ireland man. Uh, uh, Father Gerard Fern, now dead and gone, the boss of the Dominican. Uh, Joe Ralph, Father Joe Ralph, the present man in the Dominican. Uh, I'm looking down to Warren Point, Canon Kearney, a wonderful human being. So my column is spiritual without being religious. We have more on the way, so please subscribe to this channel and check out the link below if you'd consider becoming a patron to help us keep making more content. Thanks for watching.